Hi everyone, it's Coach Megan here. I'm going to run you through some stretches today that you can do um, after your workout at H4 or just at home if you need um, some stretches to get your body moving in the morning or to cool your body down um, at night. So we're just going to kind of do full body here real quick, less than five minutes, um, get these stretches going. So um, I like to start, just take your legs wide. You're going to just lean over to one side, make sure those toes can you see my toes? Are pointed forward um, towards the front of the room. Both toes are forward. Just hold it. We're gonna hold every stretch for about 20 seconds. So just hold it over here, pushing into this outside hip, taking it low, feeling the stretch through um, the inner thigh of the other leg, okay? And then go ahead and switch it over. Hold it here. You want to hold those stretches, like I said, for at least about 20 seconds. Um, 20 to 30 seconds is plenty. If you find a spot that really feels good, hold it for longer. And then from here, you're going to come to the center. Just let your body drop. So let your head hang down. I'm going to come up so I can talk to you. But let your head hang. Let your upper body and your head pull your body down. So feel that stretch through your hamstrings. Maybe even into your glutes. If you're super tight, you might feel some stretching in that lower back. Just hold it. Nice deep breaths. Let your head hang. And then from here, you're going to walk it all the way forward. Okay, so now you're in a plank position right here. I want you to take your right leg and step it towards your right hand. So take that left leg or the right leg forward. So it's right here. Now you're going to take your right arm and you're going to reach towards the ceiling. So reaching up and then bring that elbow down towards the foot and reach up again and reach and come down. Good. Do that two more times. Bring the elbow down, reach up. So you should feel that lower back getting a nice stretch. You're stretching into the groin of your legs, your hip flexors. Do it again. Bring the elbow down, reach up one more time. Bring it down, reach up, come back, two hands on the floor. Bring that leg back, other leg forward. Bring that arm up, elbow down to the foot. So left leg's forward, left arm's reaching and down. You should feel that stretch coming into the groin, into that hamstring even, depending on how tight you are. Reach and down, one more. Reach and down. Now go ahead and bring your other foot in Straighten your legs, so we'll stretch that hamstring, the hamstrings again. Go ahead and pull down on the top of your shoes if you can. Getting a nice big stretch here. Roll it up nice and slow. From here, you're gonna take one arm across your body. Deep breaths. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed when you're stretching this way. Okay, so we're stretching through the shoulder right here. Just nice and gentle on that tug in towards your body. Make sure the shoulder's relaxed. You're taking it across your chest. Good, and then go ahead and switch other side. Again, relax the shoulder. Take it right across your chest. Couple deep breaths. Then you can go ahead and just reach behind your back just stick that chest out. You can lift your arms a little bit. Nothing major. You don't need to be pulling on your hands. Just pull it back a little bit. Good. And then we're going to just stretch. Take the left foot, cross it over the right foot. And then you're going to lean towards the right side. So my left arm is going to go up, stretch. Nice big stretch all on the side. Breathe and hold it. A little balancing act here too. If you need the help, you can hold on to something with that right arm. Good, and then go ahead and switch. So right leg over the left, right arm reaches towards the left side. Stretch. Good, breathe. And then last but not least, we'll do a little hip um, mobility 
stretch here. So you're gonna just take those feet as wide as you can, toes pointed out towards the corners of the room a little bit. You're gonna come down as low as you can into that squat. If you can get your elbows on the inside of your knees, that's great, but you wanna keep your heels on the floor. So if you're here, that's fine, wherever you can go. If you have good um, mobility in your hip joints, you should be able to kind of sink your butt down. And then I'm gonna push on my knees with my elbows, so pushing them out. And this should let your, your hips should be pulling down as you're pushing out. So if you have a tight lower back, you should feel that stretch here too. Hold it as long as you want, and then just put your hands on the floor. Extend those legs back up, and then roll up nice and slow. A couple of shoulder rolls back at the top. And then last, just a couple of neck rolls. If you never do this, you'll be surprised at how many cracks you might get in your neck. Make sure you go both ways. Good, that's it. Nice, easy stretching. Hope you guys are able to use this. See you soon, bye.